Maltese vs. Shizu. Dog breed comparison between Maltese and Shizu dog breeds. Differences and similarities between these small companion dog breeds. Shizu vs. Maltese. Shizu and Maltese breeds are among the most popular small companion dogs. There are some significant differences between Maltese and Shizu breeds that need to be taken into consideration. Although Shizu and Maltese are both known as lap dogs, Shizu dogs are slightly larger and are not as fragile as the Maltese. Both of these lap dogs are not ideal for families with toddlers or very young kids. Shih Tzus and the Maltese are more appropriate for families with older children who are able to handle the family dog in a gentle way. Shih Tzus and Maltese make a wonderful family pet for older adults who have the time to allocate to grooming the dog. Maltese and Shizu breeds have high grooming needs and daily brushing along with a trim about once a month is required to keep the Maltese's or Shizu's coat in good condition. Shih Tzus and Maltese are companion dogs that need to be around their owner most of the time. Maltese-Shizu Mix Shizu and Maltese mixed dogs have traits of the two breeds. The colors of Mulshi, Maltese-Shizu Mix, can vary because Shih Tzus are known to have 19 color combinations acceptable for the breed. Even though Maltese always have a pure white coat, Maltese-Shizu cross dogs can have different coat color combinations. Physical traits of Mulshi dogs resemble either a Maltese or Shizu or a bit of both of these lap dog breeds. Half Maltese half Shizu dogs, Mulshi, are small in size. In height Maltese Shizu dogs can reach 11 inches and weight around 16 pounds. Do Maltese Shizu shed? Mulshi dogs are low shedding just like Shih Tzus and Maltese's. Maltese Shizu dogs are high maintenance when it comes to coat care. The continuously growing coat needs to be trimmed every six weeks or so in addition to daily brushing to remove any mats or tangles. Potential owners of Mulshi need to be aware of the high grooming needs of Maltese Shizu Cross and be prepared to either learn to groom the dog at home or take the Shizu Maltese dog to professional dog grooming appointments, which can be expensive. Maltese vs. Shizu, Grooming Maltese and Shizu dogs are both high-maintenance dogs when it comes to grooming. Both of these lap dog breeds feature a coat that is similar to human hair and grows continuously. To maintain Maltese and Shizu coat in best condition the owner will need to brush the coat daily and trim the dog's coat at least once every six weeks. Dog grooming appointments can be expensive and some owners choose to learn how to groom the dog at home. Shizu and Maltese dogs need their nails trimmed once a month. Daily grooming for both of these breeds includes daily teeth brushing. Shizu and Maltese often have dark brown or reddish stains around their eye area that need to be gently removed. Maltese vs. Shizu, Lifespan Maltese lifespan is similar to Shizu life expectancy. Both of these small breeds live on average from 11 to 16 years. Many factors can affect a Maltese or Shizu's life expectancy. The dog's overall health, care, diet, lifestyle and other factors affect a dog's longevity. Shizu vs. Maltese, size comparison. Maltese dogs belong to a toy group and are smaller and more fragile than Shih Tzu's. Shih Tzu's are heavier than Maltese and can weigh up to 16 pounds, while the Maltese weigh up to 8 pounds. Compare Shizu and Maltese dog sizes. Maltese male weight, 6 to 8 pounds, 3 to 4 kilograms. Shizu male weight, 8.8 to 16 pounds, 4 to 7.25 kilograms. Maltese male height, 8 to 10 in, 21 to 25 centimeters. Shizu male height, 7.9 to 11 in, 20 to 28 centimeters. Despite almost similar height, Shih Tzus weigh twice as much as Maltese dogs. Maltese vs. Shizu, Shedding Shih Tzus and the Maltese Shedding is similar because both of these breeds are considered to be non-shedding dogs. Both of these small breeds will lose a few hairs each day and if not regularly brushed, the dead hair may cause mats and tangles to form if not promptly brushed out. Shih Tzu's coat is more coarse in texture and mats easier. Maltese have a softer coat that is almost silky to touch. The Maltese and Shih Tzus have other similarities when it comes to their luxurious coat. Maltese and Shih Tzu's hair constantly grows, just like human hair. Both, the Maltese and Shih Tzu are hypoallergenic breeds and are more suitable for people who have pet-related allergies. Shih Tzu's coat can have different color, but a Maltese dog is always pure white. Maltese vs. Shih Tzu, Temperament Maltese temperament is lively, friendly, calm and loving towards the owners. The difference in Shizu and Maltese temperaments is that the Maltese are timider than Shizu around strangers. The difference in temperaments between the two breeds is that Shizu is more placid than the Maltese. Maltese dogs tend to bark more in comparison to Shih Tzu's. Shizu vs. Maltese, Country of Breed Origin 
Shizu breed was developed in Tibet as a companion dog. Maltese dogs originally come from the island of Malta. Good with kids, Maltese vs. Shizu. The Maltese and Shizu dogs are small and their size makes these breeds prone to accidents when playing with very young kids or toddlers. Maltese is even less sturdy and weighs less than the Shizu and is not a recommended dog breed for families with young children. In comparison to the Maltese, Shih Tzus are sturdier and make a better fit for families with older children. Children need to be taught to properly handle a small dog. Teach your kids to not pick up a dog and only play with the Shizu or Maltese by sitting next to the pet. Kids should not pick up a small dog as many small dogs get seriously hurt from being accidentally dropped. Overall, the Maltese and Shih Tzus make great companions for households with older owners who have the time and desire to take care of and enjoy the small dog. Good with other dogs, Shizu compared to Maltese. Shizu and Maltese breeds are both good with other dogs with supervision. The small size makes both, Shih Tzus and Maltese is vulnerable around larger breeds that can accidentally hurt a smaller dog during play or mistake the smaller Shizu or Maltese for a prey. Shizu and Maltese owners should exercise caution when introducing the small pet to larger, unfamiliar dogs. The level of socialization depends of each individual dog, how much time the owner spent getting the puppy comfortable around other dogs, determines how good the dog is around other dogs. Maltese vs. Shizu, Allegiance The Maltese and Shizu are smart little dogs. Not all Maltese are equal in terms of intelligence, just like not all Shih Tzus are equal in intelligence when compared to other dogs of the same breed. Due to these variations within each breed, intelligence level needs to be tested on individual dogs to make a reasonable estimation. Can Maltese or Shizu owners help their pets to develop intellectually? Absolutely. Start introducing interactive dog toys for small breeds to your pet while the dog is still young. Play different mind-stimulating games with your small dog and teach Shizu or Maltese to recognize his toys by name. All of these activities help to stimulate your dog's mind. Maltese compared to Shizu, trainability. Both, the Maltese and Shizu breeds respond well to training. Shih Tzus and Maltese dogs can successfully learn basic commands, provided that the owner is consistent and patient with the dog. Maltese are easier to train than more stubborn Shih Tzus. Finding positive motivation that works for your dog is very important for successful training. For example, some Shih Tzu and Maltese dogs prefer food motivation, while others are more responsive to praise or playtime. Find what drives your dog to facilitate faster learning of different basic commands. Maltese vs. Shizu, Barking Maltese usually bark more on average than do Shizu dogs. The Maltese and Shizu breeds are prone to barking, especially when there's an underlying cause for the barking. Maltese tend to bark more than do Shih Tzus on average. Some dogs tend to bark out of boredom, other dogs may bark because of separation anxiety. Dogs can bark in response to stimuli such as hearing outside noise. If the owner is leaving either dog breed alone frequently and for long periods of time with nothing to do, either the Maltese or Shizu dog may start barking out of boredom. Dog barking can be addressed with proper training. Some dog behavior specialists advise to first teaching the dog to bark on command. Once the dog understands the concept of barking on command, he is ready to learn the quiet. Command Teaching the dog to be quiet on command can be very useful, especially if the dog lives in an apartment building where his barking may bother neighbors. Maltese vs. Shizu, Exercise Needs Both breeds are reasonably active and do best with a few daily walks to stay in best physical shape. About the same level of physical activity is needed for both of these small companion breeds. Daily playtime is required for both breeds and keeps both Shizu and the Maltese not only physically active but also mentally stimulated. Shizu and Maltese dogs are small and can get tired during very long walks. Carry the pet if you notice that the dog is unwilling to continue walking or appears tired. Maltese are lighter than Shizu and are easier to carry. Some small breed owners like to use pet carriers to carry their pets whenever necessary. Health issues, Shizu and Maltese compared. The Maltese and Shizu are relatively healthy and long-lived dog breeds with good care and proper nutrition. There are certain genetic diseases associated with each breed but overall both breeds are considered to be relatively healthy. The Maltese and Shizu breeds are both predisposed for eye problems. Both of these breeds feature a hair that may get into the eyes of the dog. Keep the eye area free from the hair that tends to get into the dog's eyes and may cause an infection or irritation. Older Shih Tzus tend to suffer from joint issues and arthritis more often than Maltese dogs. Shih Tzus are heavier and have proportionally shorter legs than do Maltese. 
This combination of physical traits may cause Shih Tzus to endure more joint issues than Maltese dogs when they age. Maltese have a lighter overall frame and when kept in healthy weight there is less pressure on the joints and there are fewer incidents of joint issues in Maltese than in Shih Tzus. Maltese vs. Shih Tzu Apartment Dogs Maltese, just like Shih Tzu can happily live in an apartment as long as they get to spend most of the time with the owner. Both of these small breeds require a moderate amount of exercise during the day and with several walks every day these dogs can be perfect apartment pets. Maltese are prone to barking while Shizu dogs are usually quieter and don't bark as much as the Maltese. If the Maltese's barking disturbs the neighbors, the dog can be trained to be quiet on command. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching.